Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Hi. Welcome to episode 22 of Rally Point. In this episode, we're going to be covering the brand new Halloween update, which is going to have free new content for everyone, and it's going to be available for free. Uh, We're going to be talking about that later in the show, along with some brand new exclusive information on Total War Attila. And for those of you who might have missed it, we announced Total War Attila live at EGX. We live-streamed everything, including the, the new CGI trailer, new gameplay, new campaign, the whole shebang. We... What was that? We t- no, that's fine. We invited a few of our favourite peeps down to the studio, and they got hands-on with it first, and you'll find some of their videos down in the description. And... No, I swear I heard something. And I will watch your world... burn. Okay. I'll caught up with Dom to talk about some of the new stuff that's coming in Attila. They're in the warm, they're inside. I wish I was there. Why am I doing this? Why did they send me here? So, I mean, the Western Roman Empire, so they have like a really weak economy to start with. Yeah, that's right. I mean, they have tons and tons of armies. Uh... Uh, in play, so the the upkeep is ridiculous. Um, and all the while, they've got these little uh, barbarian uh, factions all, all around them who are either at war with them already or don't like them very much. Yeah. Um, and uh, but yeah, therefore they have a bit of a hard time. When you first look at the kind of the overview map and who owns what, uh, uh, you know, at the start of Attila, it's very easy to think there's 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 a level of kind of game player quality to the Western Roman Empire and the Eastern Roman Empire. But you know, the the, the challenge because everything is so different between those two factions. You know, you just don't have that quite that same level of challenge in the Eastern Roman Empire. No, and like we said with the Sassanids, it's a, it's a, more, a larger, more stable faction that's mm-hmm. it's sharing a board with you, it's a threat, but that's not an immediate problem yeah. uh, compared to, say, the many little barbarian tribes that are yeah. trying to get a piece of Western Roman Empire at the beginning. Yeah. And also they have the money to play with, they can buy people off if yeah. they have to. The Roman Empire and uh, the Sassanids, they have uh, puppet states, uh, which very much, they're at your beck and call, they haven't got much independence, they can't really make decisions without you. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, same with the Western Roman Empire. Um, barbarians, they may establish sort of tributary states, which they're more like uh, the client kingdoms of, um, of Rome too, so right. they have a little bit more independence. Whereas a puppet state is more, you do what I say. Basically, yes. Yeah, yeah. Is there any chance of puppet states rebelling and trying to break Absolutely, off. secession is a thing. I mean, you can grant them their independence if you're insane. Um, <laughs> or if you fancy you'd rather have a go at them and take the lands for yourself, you can right. obviously declare war on them. But they may do the same as well. They may uh, build up the uh, the resolve and, um, you know, go for it. And if, if they're at war with somebody because you went to war with them, then they may start capturing territory for themselves and right. get enough power that they get a bit confident. And, yeah, uh, yeah. That's when you should start watching out. Okay, Joey wanted to talk to you guys about the Mod Awards. She's inside as well. I think everyone else is. I think I'm the only one out here. Except for whatever that is outside. Oh, God. Yes, we recently had the first Total War official Mod Awards for Total War Rome 2, and it was to congratulate you guys and all of your efforts on the Rome 2 campaign. So we did a Twitch stream where we dressed up and it was all fancy and we awarded you guys with a proper plaque and an ancient Roman coin, of which you can see here, in front of my face. And they were beautiful, so we gave those uh, 12 awards for a winner and a runner-up for six categories. So if you want to see who won, click the link down below. And if you want to add any of the winners or runners-up to your Rome 2 game, we've got a handy Steam compilation link where you can add any of those to your Rome 2 campaign. So, we'll be doing another one next year, but the link's down below. See you soon. <laughs> so, so we've got this new content coming for the Halloween update. It's gonna come with a new festival for everyone, <laughs> and it's gonna be it's gonna be Lemura, which is like okay, 
Okay, it's gonna be Lemura, which is like the Roman Halloween. They throw beans around to keep evil spirits out, and I don't even know. I d there's also Nightmare Mode, and Craig and Nico are gonna talk about it, but they're not themselves. They're not themselves. Nightmare Mode can be toggled on and off in the front end. Yeah, so it actually changes the look of the battlefield. You know, it's gonna look very, very scary. Makes it oh! scarier! Yes! And also gives all units the scare all trait. Oh boy. <laughs> it's gonna be hard. And what else? Uh, 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 flying things. Uh, uh, harpies? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that, that, the harpies. There are harpies, harpies. that are scary. Oh, flying oh, flappy oh, beasts in the sky. Oh, they don't look good. They're not very scary. Uh, not good here. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed episode 22 of Rally Point. Happy Halloween! Um, make sure to download the free update and have a good try at Nightmare Mode. Make a video, send it to us. We'd love to see your experiences. Okay, coming soon. We've got more free LC, we've got more DLC for Rome 2, we've got some huge future announcements. In fact, in fact, I'm, I'm going to try and tell you about them now. See, one of the huge new things we got coming up is...